All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about is how to flash the PowerFlex 525 drive. Now, there's multiple reasons for doing this. Um, one, you could be upgrading your system. Two, you could be trying to uh, firmware match your system, you know, like your PLC file with your actual drive itself. Like if you're in a highly regulated GMP area or pharmaceutical, um, generally speaking, those have to be matched perfectly with firmware. Now, when it comes down to it though, um, this you could be just be upgrading your system to be more compatible um, just make sure you understand that right here you can right click inside of rs links and see what firmware you are currently at uh, in this case we are our version 7.1 which is the latest version of this actual um, powerflex drive and to verify that what we can do is we can go to the website now uh, again you do have uh, you should have I should say uh, a firmware kit that's on your your actual computer if you don't then you you need to install the flash firmware or control flash uh, but control flash comes with these features um, the DMK extractor is generally what new firmware is going to come in uh, so that's how you would actually update that so let's go ahead and go to the website and show you how to navigate that so first when you're going to go to rockwell.com or rockwellautomation.com Go to downloads and then right here you're going to type in PowerFlex. PowerFlex 525. And then we're just going to click the first instance. And then we're, what we're going to do is go to downloads. And then there's going to be a list of EDS files. There's going to be a list of firmware versions. Like you can do control flash right here. If you do not have control flash, you can go ahead and get that uh, installed that way. Um, and then you can come down here and see the latest versions. Also, click the next button if there's another page because there might be the firmware that you, you're looking for there. Again, there's 5.2, 6.1, 7.0. Uh, we do have the 7.0 right here. Uh, so then you can easily see that. We can just go to download. And what that does is it opens up a page where we can actually scroll this down and pick which firmware we want to use. So if we wanted this file, we can see, like if we wanted 5.2, we could easily see, select these files, and you get all the files that you, you need to do for that specific version. In our case, we're gonna do 7.1 because that's what we're on already, and that is the latest version that Rockwell offers for this specific drive. Now, I'm just gonna do the firmware for the PowerFlex 525, and you can see that the bottom one is the one I checked. The EDS files, if you need the EDS files, you can, again, download those here. Um, if you need to update your CCW, you can do that here. Um, the add-on profile. Now, I'm not gonna download this right now, but I want, to, I want you to understand what the add-on profile is. If you're inside of your control logics um, and you're looking in your IO tree and you go to open up a drive and it will not open up, then you need you need to upgrade your AOP for that that specific um, you know that specific computer or whatever the case may be or because that that computer does not have the correct AOP so it doesn't have the correct add-on profile for you to open the drive the add-on profile is what's used to edit and and look at the drive while you're inside the PLC file now again. Uh, I'm not going to do that because uploading that does take several hours or not uploading it, but installing that does take several hours. So we're just going to download the firmware. This is going to come over here. It's going to give us a download that's going to pop up under a Rockwell download manager. Okay. But you need to accept the download, accept the terms and conditions for the download. Um, and then you're going to come over here and go to folders. I like to refresh. And then I'm going to open this up. You can see the latest. I like to go by date modified. And then we want to close out any ones that we already had. So open this up and then it should pop open. And then it will start the download as the actual download manager opens and connects to the internet. Um, in this case, I, I think I had already downloaded it. So let's go ahead and, and do that instance again let's just go ahead and delete these two so let's delete these two and do that firmware download again 
just so we can make sure that it's very visible that you see exact the exact process of that okay so again accept and download and then once we get there we come over here to downloads we want to go to our folder make sure that that is the current one we're opening we open it up it starts the download process again once it connects to the actual just like it did and as soon as it downloads it it generally opens a folder um, and that's going to be in the path of uh, generally your c drive is where the the download manager puts the the folder um, which is called ra right and that's going to be anything that you download from the rockwell website now it doesn't point to where you need to be so it could point anywhere in here and you see i have a lot of things in here so i like to sort by date i like to sort by date and you can see i have my firmware my dmk right here my my firmware dot dmk and i'm going to copy that i'm going to copy that dmk and then i'm going to take that to my vm so with that said I'm going to open up my VM and then I'm going to come over here and paste that in here. Now that pasted on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is open up firmware flash where our control flash, which is under flash programs, tools, DMK extractor. And then we're going to come over here. This is if you do not have the firmware that you need, right? You need to go to select it. So just in case, this is just showing you the full process. Now, it does take a second for the DMK extractor to open. It does take a second for the DMK extractor to actually navigate to where you tell it to as well. So don't expect that to be really quick. And I don't currently see it. I thought it would have popped up by now, but let's go ahead and do that again. And open location. Verify that it does open. Again, it's not the fastest thing in the world, so just be patient with it and just understand that it will pop up. And we're going to go ahead and pause. There we go. So uh, what we want to do is browse to the location, which is the desktop, and then we come over here and it will, it should take some time to find it. But once it finds it, you can extract it and then it adds it to the your ability to flash that firmware from a control flash. So next we're going to open up the control flash and flash the firmware to this drive. And again, that's 7.1. The drive is already 7.1. So again, when it comes down to it, I'm just showing you the process of actually how to get there. I was really hoping that Rockwell would have had a upgraded version so I could have shown that. But uh, the for the sake of argument, downloading the version and just, just to show you the process is the same of what I'm doing right now. Um, so that this tool, this DMK extractor does take a second to do, right? So just make sure you do do that. And then you come over here and make sure it says one of one DMK kits were or are, are have completed and one successful, no failed. Okay. Then you want to close that. And then again, the DMK extractor is not a very fast tool whatsoever. Uh, let's just close the program and then what we want to do is we'll cancel that and then we want to open up our control flash which again is in flash and then control flash control flash again is not very uh, fast as well so just keep in mind depending upon how big your inventory is it's going to be you know either takes a little bit a little bit of time to open up or it could be very quick if you don't have much in there so just just keep that in mind um, for the sake of argument mine does have a quite a bit in there so we're gonna we're gonna go in here and select the proper things so we'll come in here and we'll look for our powerflex 525 drive okay so you have many many different things and one would think that it's ethernet drive we should just go to ethernet right now you can also browse these things so just keep that in mind we're gonna let's just select the powerflex 525 up here and then come over here and then we'll view our drive right here. We'll pick our drive from RS links. We'll open that up and we're going to pick 
the multiple assemblies found. Uh, we just want uh, the very first one. And 7.1, you can show all versions. Now, showing all versions will show all the versions that you used to have. Like if you had 5.1, 6, 6.0, or whatever versions you used to have, show all versions will show that. In this case, we only have the 7.1. We're going to click Next, and then we're going to click Finish. This is going to update the target of our actual drive. So even though my drive is already 7.001, let's just say for the sake of argument that I flashed it and it didn't take the first time. It's still going to say it's 7.001. There's a very good possibility of that. So you need to make sure when you're flashing the firmware of a drive, when it goes complete, that it is 100% successful. Okay, there is no question about you know, like it, it dropped connection or it failed to do this or it failed to do that. If it does, you need to make sure that you download it or you you try to flash the firmware again to that. And sometimes you have to default the device for that. So if it does fail and so you don't lose connection or you lose connection for some reason through RS links, just go into the drive itself and default the drive with the, the actual front of the drive you can actually go through and go through the parameters and then default the drive back to its original state that will be out of box so just keep in mind you will lose all your parameters but it, when you're flashing a firmware anyway you're losing everything anyway so you might as well go ahead and just have a backup of everything before you start this process now i'm going to let this finish again when it comes down to it and we'll let this finish and, and not and then as soon as we do we'll see the finished product okay so it's important to know that once it actually finishes the complete download it's going to pull for a power cycle so it's going to basically power up and this does give a default time of like a, a uh, timer for the countdown it has to actually come back up and actually go through its process and then come back up with that that actual time so just keep in mind it, that's that's part of the completion phase now it is coming back up it's actually you know the drive is actually coming and saying what it is so as soon as that happens we, we should get an indication that shows that the firmware is complete and it, there's a nice green symbol that does show us that now again um we're waiting on it to finish the poll and the check and the and that make sure everything is 100 percent correct you can see that the time does change somewhat but of the time but you can see right here is where we were looking for and then you can see a nice green indication that the firmware was complete and it was successful just click ok and you have now updated the firmware of your drive. You can double check that again, going through RS links and then verifying your RS links is the same firmware that you just downloaded. So with that said, hopefully that was educational on how to show you how to download the firmware or upload the firm or update the firmware to a drive. Um, you can do the same thing. Like if you wanted to flash it backwards, you could flash it backwards if you wanted to. But again, when it comes down to it, it depends on your situation, right? Are you in one of those pharmaceutical things that is highly regulated or are you trying to push forth and make the drive more compatible with say, you know, like a different uh, AOP or a different uh, software? In, meaning, are you trying to make it compatible with, you know, like a version 33 or th for 30, 35 or even 36? Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, this is a, the, solid process on how to you know actually use control flash to flash the firmware of a drive at least the powerflex 525 so keep that in mind and hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one